One of the most common questions in iOS interviews are value types versus reference types. And this question may look many different ways, but let's break down how you can properly answer it. So you may see this question asked straight up, like explain the difference between a value type and a reference type, or they may kind of mask it with explain to me what the difference is between a, a struct and a class. And that's essentially the same question. So let's start with value types. A value type is a Swift type where each instance keeps a unique copy of the data. And when I say this, I mean in memory. Once a value type is created, there's essentially a copy created in memory for that specific instance of it. Whereas a reference type, each instance of a reference type shares a single copy of all of the data. You may have a hundred references in your code all pointing to the same thing with a reference type. So some examples of value types are structs, enums, reference types are easier to remember, class is the main one, but um, closures and functions are also con considered reference type. I think it's easiest to demonstrate this in code. So go ahead and open up a uh, Swift Playground. Okay, so I'm just gonna call this value ref types. All right, so I think it's easiest to demonstrate this with a class first. So let's say class uh, dog, and we're just gonna have one variable and we're gonna say breed, and we're gonna initialize this immediately with um, golden retriever. Now, this is the perfect way to demonstrate reference types and their uh, pros and cons, I guess, and this is the main downfall to them. So if we say var dog one is equal to dog, just a quick little, you know, print statement here, print dog one dot breed. What are you expecting it to say? Golden retriever. And bingo, you are correct. Now let's say var dog two is equal to dog one. But then we're gonna say dog two, because it's a different variable, we're gonna say dog two dot breed is equal to Staffordshire Terrier, which by the way, I have a Staffordshire Terrier. Her name is Ziva. She's amazing. She's a goof. She does hilariously like human things. So give, uh, give Ziva a thumbs up on this video one time. Anyway, back to this. Now let's say print. So we set dog two's breed to Staffordshire Terrier. Okay, print dog one, uh, let's say quotes, dog one breed is equal to dog one dot breed, string interpolation. Copy this. Same thing under dog two breed is equal to dog two dot breed. What are you expecting to happen? Now they're both Staffordshire Terrier. So what is happening here, like I said before, a reference type, we're, we're sharing a single copy of this because we're setting it like this, okay? It happens because it's a reference type. We are copying a reference, so it's a shared instance. We have two variables referring to the same instance of data. So whatever happens to one is going to happen to the other. This is obviously a problem. So how can you get around it? You can get around it by using structs whenever you can. Okay, let's try this, struct. Look, it works as expected. Dog one breed is golden retriever because we never changed it. We're setting that and we just keep it a dog. Dog two, setting to dog one, Staffordshire Terrier. So this is an instance where struct is smarter to use. I do want to point out too that you cannot say let dog two and let dog one here. I, you could, it'll work for dog one because we're not changing it, but then we try to use dog two dot breed. Doesn't work. It's a let constant. So with structs, always think variable for structs. Uh, like I said, it, you can get away with it for the class because we're not changing anything, but to make it mutable, to make it changeable, we need to use var. So then the question becomes like, when do you use a value type and when do you use a reference type? And 
the answer is kind of just from the demonstration I showed you because you want to use a, a, a structure or any type of reference type when you want the, uh, the instances of data to be independent. But if you want to create like a shared mutable state, then it makes more sense to create reference types. Now, a lot of these questions in my must know iOS interview series are going to be related to each other. So here's the other thing, a very, very common follow up question to this is when they ask about retain cycles. I also made a video on that that you can find right here. Enjoy.